Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Lorelei. I just did a weird burp while I was talking then. <laughs> I'm going to leave that in because I'm professional like that. Right, so back to Let's Play Lorelei. Uh, last episode was an extra long one. Um, basically we were sent by the Queen of Maggots to, to basically get this guy called Al, who's an alcoholic, um, to start drinking again and kill himself basically, but we ended up helping him um, because I felt too sorry for him, and it, it might that might turn out to really bite us in the butt because there's still the matter of Bethany, Lorelai's sister, and Zach, um, who the Queen of Maggots implied they can easily be gotten rid of if I didn't, if Lorelai didn't uh, kill Al. So. We'll see what's happening. We, we Al seemed in a better place, and then suddenly we woke up in what looks like a funeral home. I don't know, there's coffins. But it's probably some weird, dodgy place, so. It's playing some crazy old movie. Let's just keep going. Yeah, I mean, this video looks dodgy AF. Alright, let's just ignore that. This coffin seems different from the rest. She looks like she's reaching out for something. Mom, why do you keep haunting me? There's a massive padlock on it. Doll. It's just a doll. I guess that's what Lola's mother wants. Well, you know what I mean. That's not it. Um, there was a guy with the axe. Oh, how did that get here? The axe is here now. I thought the guy with the axe looked like was he called Joe from Downfall? But I think that's just that could just be me, you know, assigning because my brain's trying to make connections. I didn't really see him properly. It could have been anyone with the axe. Uh, can we just hit this door down? Yes, we can. Back in a um there, 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 there she is. Uh oh. If it isn't my sweet little Lorelei. Hi. Um Um I should have gone through with it. Maybe I should just rest for a minute. 
Well, we don't need to do that just yet. Can't even see where I am. Squeaky old stairs. The store leads out to the garden. Where are we right now? Lorelei? Huh? Oh god. It's you. Um, where are you? Right here, in the cage. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay? That's it? Are you not going to help me? Look, I don't know you. What if you're really evil or something? Do you not recognize me? I mean, I don't... I really don't know. It's me, Jimmy the Traveler. Oh, I thought you sounded different. That bitch queen of maggots turned me into a crow and locked me up. So now you're Jimmy the Crow. Does it hurt? Not really. But boy, am I hungry. How did she find you? Oh, I went to the tunnel. I knew I shouldn't have. And that thing, that monster, it grabbed me hard and shrieked like a demon. Then I woke up here, hungry, so fucking hungry. Well? How about some delicious juicy pumpkin? Yeah, I'm not eating that. What's wrong with pumpkins? I don't know. But for some reason my stomach turns if I even think about them. Oh, come on. You'd rather starve to death than eat a pumpkin? I think... I know they're filled with blood. Look, I know it's crazy, but... I'd really much prefer those white granules. Isn't that... fertilizer? I don't care what it is. It smells so good. I really, really want it. How come you're so hungry? You've not been here long. Really? It feels like years and years to me. Oh, did you hear that? Hear what? My stomach, rumbling, like a thunderstorm. I'll see what I can do. You can just give me some of that fertilizer. You sure that's even edible? I want it! Please! It's run down looking. Okay. Where's this fertilizer? According to the label, it's a saltpeter based garden fertilizer. Looks tasty, doesn't it? Um, no. You weirdo. I don't know, let's give it to him. More. More. Okay, now you sound a bit crazy, Jimmy. Uh, we'll be back later. <laughs> See ya. I need more. Still hungry. Oh. I'm sorry, Jimmy. Trust me, eating more of that stuff would not be safe. Yeah, Jimmy, I ain't, I ain't feeding you. Either. You're going a bit, you're a bit crazy. I mean, I know you're a bird. Been turned into a bird and put in a cage, but let's. Well, I'm just gonna explore the house, okay? Looks comfy. Even your linen smells fresh and inviting. Oh, let's lie down, why don't we? Uh, 
And we're back here. I felt I didn't feed Jimmy more because I felt like he was really sounding crazy. I didn't like the idea of what was going to happen if I kept feeding him. I don't know. Maybe I should have. Maybe it would have been fine. I don't know. Right, can we go in here yet? Oh, we can. I like how I'm not questioning why we're back in the Queen of Maggot's house. Oh, we're back in this like factory looking place. With a lot of loading screens. Ugh, come on. Sorry about that weird yawn. Wow. Wait, is this back with the monster? Yes, it is. This monster. If I destroy this thing, will everything go back to the way it was? It's hot. I don't want to burn myself. This is a furnace. Okay, we'll see you later, Queen. Okay, so we found in her house... Uh, I said house weirdly then. Her actual body, Queen of Maggots, so... I wonder if we'll be blowing her up soon. Alright, let's go... Let's go see if she's down here. Once fancies another chat. I'm worried she's gonna kill Bethany or Zach. Their candles are still lit. Oh, okay. We're just back here. Uh, okay, we can't do anything. Right. So back in the house. Fireplace looks very different. What even happened there? It's just all like nothing. And we can't go in these doors again. Like, did I miss something in here that we can do? Can we get the. It's a saltpeter based fertilizer. We can't use it on the Queen of Maggots, can we? We'll put it in the furnace. No. That's not gonna work. Okay. What if we use this on the stuff she's eating? Or on her? That's not it. No, it doesn't look like there's anything we can actually do here right now. Hmm. Was there anything more to the left? Oh, what was that? Oh, there's the door. I mean, there's nothing there. Hmm. Let's go back in here then. Oh, maybe if we sleep when it's over. Oh, we can't even reuse the bed. I can sleep when it's over. Right, so what am I meant to do? Oh no, we're not lost again, are we? I... Oh God. Maybe I can put it in the stew. This must be Queen Stew leftovers. And my oh. only way to get back to the real world. Have a... Can we have a cheeky sip?
Jeez, the scumbag stepdad, really. How many bodies are in here? Two dead, two dead police, the mum. Why did he bring all the bodies here? I can't believe he fell for the oldest trick in the book. Really? You're gonna blame the officer for thinking, for, for fooling for it, as if it was obvious? I think his name was Gibbs. John took this cop's uniform to trick Officer Manley. John needs to freaking, he's a, I thought he was just an abusive, you know, a disgusting abusive guy, but he's full on psycho murderer. Why did he bring here? Probably to burn it us. smells like gasoline. It's a bit too heavy to carry around. Probably get rid of the evidence, Lorelei. Just guess. Okay. We're gonna find this guy and deal with him properly this time. Did he really kill Bethany? Was that just her? It was the hat that she wore, was it? Back in the house. We can't go up back this time.
and we can't go out front this time. So is Bethany really dead? Did we see her body in that shot? It was dark. I couldn't tell if it was just the, the hat she was wearing. You know, the like, DIY nappy. Right. So doing this will take us back to the Queen of Maggot's house, right? The answer is yes. Well, I want to check the candle because it was lit before. See, Bethany's candle is still lit. What's happening? Do I just drink the stew again and it'll take me back? I am confused. Did I basically just get a game over? Maybe I wasn't meant to get caught by him? Where will I wake up this time? Is it... I'm so confused. Oh no, she's... she's back again from the water. Okay, cool. Now let's kill this absolute waste of space. Get inside the factory through here. I kind of want to kill that guy though. Maybe there's something I can do it with in here. It is very dark. What are those arrows doing? What if I? Let's go to the first one. Hmm. Actually, hold on. Let's. What happens if we go after? I feel like this is a bad idea. John's in there. I shouldn't get any closer. Okay, I had to check. Right, so we can kill him in a minute, I guess, hopefully. Let's get in this factory and see what we're working with. So that moves us further back. It's so dark. It is so dark right now. I like that though. That's a nice little thing these type of games don't normally do. Greasy. Let's take that rag. It is so dark. Am I meant to be able to see anything with that? Dropping the container would tell John exactly where I am. We drop it on top of him. I think I'd know how to drop that container if there was a good reason to do that. I think there's a very good reason if John's underneath it. I right. think this panel next to me is used for controlling the crane. Assuming it still works, of course. They look run down like everything else here. I hope they don't break under my weight. Okay. Is there anything I can actually do? Okay, panel. There's no power right now. How do I put the power on then? That red light there? 
It's the repair workshop door. Okay. I guess they used to fix equipment here back in the day. I can craft a weapon here. I can craft Dusty. Okay, I can craft a weapon here, but all I've got is sure a rag. Uh, I'm not sure what that I, I can craft a weapon here. Hmm, okay, well, we're going to leave it there, guys. 25 minutes. I know this has been a bit of a slow... Oh, actually, there's some big things that happen in this one. I just feel like I haven't talked very much, but then I don't. In this type of game, obviously, if you're this far in the series, you know, I like to... You know, it's more... I don't know if cinematic is the word, but it's more story-focused, so... It's not one I'm just going to overreact and scream through everything like some YouTubers might. But anyway, so thanks for watching, everyone. If you're enjoying it, join me next time. Please leave a comment telling me your thoughts. Leave a like if you liked it. And do whatever you want. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.